The one with the halogen bulb in, it'll do something when you take the torch off and that won't do it. The glow green, oh. it fluorescences under the light. Mm. You know, it's the That's really pretty. The sad thing about this job, and I say to two or three people like yourself and the next four of you, you can only say it a few times because some people are not interested in the way we come here sometimes, but it's a pity we can't take it to where we work. Mm. Because what you were seeing is not pretty, but you've got to remember, I don't know what you people do for the part of yourself. This means nothing to us. You see, each and every day, it's no different from whether you went into your office or building site or whatever. When we go into the other one, we're And unfortunately, we haven't ever been into this, but haven't actually, a bit like houses or homes. You can go into some. Would you sit here in a chair smoking? He said, Yes, of course. And there's others basically, not cooking. We work in the new dining room, and the new dining room, one of them where you can say, oh, Let's take some easy chairs and sit in there. It's so comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It sounds a strange when you touch it, you think it's, it's just quite slow, but not even yeah. expected to be. Yeah, it's a little glow green. You don't have it very quick. This is not a powerful torch. There. Oh, it's got a green light. Which ones? I don't know the names. Well, they're dead easy solid tights. There you are. You see them? Uh-huh. Your normal ones are formed across the top because at the front of the rock because the water had run down the side. But with them, they're at the back. And they're called straws. Oh, yeah. The, the reason we get straws is the hollow water through the middle. And they um, shine, don't they? If, yeah. if you turn the lights on. If you drop one of them on your head, they break. Drop a normal one on, you break. That's the best way of looking at it. Yeah. But when you see rocks, I was in the Peak District. I was in that bar on the other side. A little rock and a bigger on top of the top. I do. I do. Well, come on. Oh. Can't put this on your rings and paper. I don't know what it is, but I forgot. I read it earlier as well. Erratics. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. I'm really See? Right. <laughs> you put erratics, they'll know what it means. The simple reason for that, on the scale of hearts, that's all the four. Mm. And this lady will know the scale of hearts, and I don't know if you fellas do, but the scale of hearts, this was Frederick Moen from Germany, comes up with this idea that the diamond will scratch glass. But glass will not scratch diamond, therefore diamond is ten, the strongest, with your chalk at the bottom of one. This is four. That's why it's only classed as a semi-precious stone. So what we do, we use a method called plug and feather. Have you heard of that method? Well, it's a very old fashioned method. Now the old fashioned method was, they drill the holes, put wood in, then stand there for two or three days pouring water on it. The wood expands. Then they speeded it up a bit. They drilled the hole, put wood in. They knocked the pegs down, the wood, the wood acts as a cushion. What we do, we drill the holes in, we put sleeves in. They're like two half moons of metal. Down the centre of that we knock a steel pin. The pins are tapered. So when they're going in, they're pushing the sleeve down and off it comes. Because of the softness of it, if you put that straight on a machine, it'll shatter. So what we do, we coat it with a resin, which is unpotent resin, but we still use the old-fashioned resin, which is pine resin. If you've not seen pine resin, if you've seen amber, it's exactly the same thing. Heat it up, by the time you've got to made something, that white has got impregnated with it. But it's gone yellowy. Some of you went to France, the French wanted more, they simply called it the blue and yellow stone. Blue and yellow in French is bleu jaune, 
We just twisted it round and called it Blue John. That's how it gets its name. Before that, it was Derbyshire Bluestone. It's a very common floor spa. But the blue is the impurity. Now, uh, if you don't know Derbyshire, Derbyshire's two parts. And if you park your cars at the top of the hill, myself and another lad, we're the only two from the other side of the hill. The people what live this side of the hill are called white peakers because of the limestone. I come from the other side and we are called dark peakers because that side is gritstone with shale. Shales are oily. Millions of years ago it was volcanic and we do know it was oil around here because the thing what we call toadstone or bitumen and that's got into it and give it this blue effect. Oh, okay. And we know it's been hot, you know why? Your geodes. It's been like a soup. It's expanded, but as it's cooled, it's shrunk. It leaves you a little bubble in the middle. Mm -hmm. 